It's shaping up to be a rough summer in the skies. A Friday Atlanta-bound Delta Airlines flight became the latest to be interrupted by an unruly passenger. That problem passenger was one of the airline's own flight attendants flying off duty at the time, according to a Delta spokesman. Witnesses on board reported he commandeered the aircraft's intercom and told them to prepare to use their oxygen masks, triggering a clash between him, the crew, and some of his fellow passengers. One witness told CNN he feared the worst during the very tense encounter. People behind me were saying, uh, well, that's, that's really bad. I mean, that only happens when a plane goes down. I prayed that God would protect my family in case I was gone. On Thursday night, a separate Delta flight from L.A. to New York was also diverted after what was described by the airline as a customer issue on board. Stop this plane. On June 4th, a third Delta flight, this one from L.A. to Nashville, was forced to make an emergency landing after a passenger tried breaching the cockpit door, according to authorities. And Delta is not alone. Crews from American and Southwest Airlines have been among those recently subjected to belligerent passengers. We are gonna hey, hey. And in at least one case, physical abuse from troublesome travelers. In May, the head of the Federal Aviation Administration said he's worried as these kinds of air rage incidents seem to be repeating themselves. This dangerous behavior can distract, disrupt, and threaten crew members' safety functions. And as a former airline captain, it's extremely concerning to me. The spokesperson for the agency says that it's received at least 2,900 reports of unruly behavior by passengers this year. 2,200 of them have been related to noncompliance with the federal mandate requiring masks on public transportation, planes included. The spike in bad onboard behavior prompted the FAA to extend a zero tolerance policy. Are you serious? The spokesperson says enforcement action has been started in over three dozen cases already. Question now, will it get even more unfriendly in disguise with a busy summer travel season on the horizon? All right, pop quiz. Do you know which countries have the highest carbon emissions or how long it took Mariah Carey and her producer to write All I Want for Christmas? If not, then you should definitely subscribe to Now This Is First newsletter. Know this. You can sign up right here at the website below. Hey, I'm Zinclair Samoa, host of Know This, a daily evening news show on Now This News, and we're bringing you a Know This newsletter. Every day, our editors break down the top five stories so you are always in the know. Each night, you can get the biggest breaking news, politics, culture, and entertainment stories straight to your inbox. Find out why stories trending online are generating so much buzz and wind down your day with the stories that matter to you. What's more, Know This gives you a special edge, including the little-known facts from each story that you need to know. We'll give you context on why new policies and innovations matter, but don't worry, we keep it fun too. There are gifts, puns, and plenty of lighter stories to give you talking points at dinner tonight. So sign up now right here at the website below. If you like what you read, forward our newsletter to your friends. You can also watch our show Know This on Facebook Watch, search Now This Daily on Facebook, and look out for the Know This series playlist to check out all the video episodes you may have missed. You can also find us on Now This News Instagram stories, so you can get caught up on all the news you need to know. See you in your inbox.